Hello, I'm Mark and today in this short video I will explain you the TestyTrade account. You will see it's very easy to pass an order and I give you maybe some more advices. Okay, have fun! So once you get into the account you can see um, this kind of uh, clear account and deposit positions. Uh, if you click here on accounts you're gonna have the balance which usually is here. Then uh, here you have the recent symbols. You just enter the ticker and then they appear here. You're gonna have here the kind of um, uh, watch list. What's maybe important is that you have all these three here on green that you know you are connected and here you can see the positions. Now when you go back to my first video uh, you have seen that um, uh, all this lesson learned that uh, I'm a vivid uh, option writer. In other words, whenever I have a position, I try try to sell right away call option. You can see that here on Snap, you can see it on Plug, you can see it in Nike, Novavax, and so on. So you can see that um, I always try right away to sell uh, an option. Maybe just one detail. You remember I said last time the Novavax actually I got a 39. So it makes no sense to sell a 39 call at the moment because the stock is still is now trading around uh, 8 to 7 or whatever. Uh, and uh, so in other words, I'm selling now an 8.5 and, a half and um, I keep selling that every month, make this kind of rollover. If it's necessary, in this case, maybe I will, the option will, will expire worthless, so I will sell another call option and so on. I have selected the stock, let's say Amazon, and then you go here under trade. It appears you all the possibility of strategies. So in other words, here you can choose, let's say, which strategy you're going to uh, use for trading an option in Amazon. I will have this kind of um, option uh, strategies videos in where I will explain all of them here. Um, uh, you just watch the, uh, the four parts of option strategies in where you're going to see uh, each one was the advantage uh, in doing it and uh, you can see that um, some are really great uh, to handle in this tasty trade account. Here you can see the uh, expiry uh, dates. Uh, you can see that uh, in the next two weeks usually is a month, uh, is a weekly uh, expiry and then you go into months and you can see you can trade even in Amazon till 24 January. But when you look about here the volatility, the implied volatility is always that you get a lower volatility the longer you keep, uh, the longer you would sell an option. So it's certainly more interesting uh, to uh, trade options, uh, let's say 32, 45 days is what actually uh, Tasty Trade is recommending. Besides the uh, implied volatility, you can see this, the range of the stock who may move, uh, fluctuate up to $10. So in other words, he wants to say with this volatility, more or less the stock may move $10 up or down. So once you have chosen now a strategy, Okay, then we look how to proceed uh, in your uh, selling order. So let's assume that you we have uh, chosen our short call option. So you're going to sell an option uh, against the existing position. Uh, in that way, in that way, you can see here uh, that the system, whenever you uh, push here the go button, the system will propose you right away uh, uh, an option. Uh, it will propose you the date as well. So after that, it's you who, uh, if you like to adjust the strike or expiration, the strike is here to adjust and the expiration would be here. But well, let's assume that you keep now May 12th uh, at uh, 108. So uh, the system tells you the bid and ask price. And here, what's really good is that you can really uh, go into the middle. I mean, you can try maybe to sell at 452. You enter uh, the, 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 um, the order and um, you can wait. It usually goes really fast. 
uh, if, if, if the limit has been touched, but if maybe uh, it's, it's just at the moment dropping the stock, okay, then you maybe just do a kind of adjustment and would go right away to the bid price. But I see in my experience that um, it's really uh, nice to, to trade in, in, in within this, this range, so it's really no problem. Uh, the white arrow shows you the current price of the stock. And here you have the option vol volume, uh, which you can see here, and the delta per strike. I mean, everything is really nice uh, showing. And um, yeah, as I said, this is really a, a great thing. An example I did on the short call vertical. So it's a kind of credit spread. Uh, this is mainly done when it comes to earnings of the stock because it's a kind of uh, selling uh, um, an option, a call option and buying another one for uh, endurance. In other words, what I like in these, uh, in these um, uh, strategies that you really know what is your maximum loss, which actually is written here. In other words, you may get a maximum profit of 0.47, but you know that the maximum loss is 0 0.53 basically because you, you buy and sell uh, an option, the call option, so it cannot be over 109. So the difference between 108 to 109 is one point, or let's say times 100 shares means $100. So since you get $47, uh, obviously your loss can not be higher than 53. Okay, it can be 55 or it can be 56 because you have to consider the, the, the the prices of the option, I mean, the, the commission you may have to pay. But obviously, that it's a, it's a kind of maximize uh, uh, loss. And um, especially in earnings, it makes really sense to, to, to do a strategy like that. Sample, actually, it's the same one, but it's just not in a kind of table uh, 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 view. It's more in a graphic view because it's quite good too that you can see maybe the things here in a in a way with the kind of diagram and here again the, the it shows you that you sell uh, this call you would buy this call here you have the information of the earnings uh, that means on 27th of April Amazon is uh, passing earnings so actually now it's really an interesting uh, way of trading here is the stock and whatsoever you have again all the information like that now, maybe with this width, you can extend a bit the uh, spread. Let's say you could go for one, uh, eight to 110. So you would know that um, your maximum loss would be two full points, I mean 200. But since you uh, would uh, receive a, a credit, it would be maybe less. But okay, it will not be 45 because this is an example on 108, 109. But uh, obviously, if you would do a 1.8 to 1.10, then maybe the credit here would be not maybe 45, would be maybe less. I mean, this is this is the no, sorry, it would be more. The credit would be more, but the loss could be 200 and not 100. This is just to consider as well. So once you have entered the order in this kind of trade function, you can go into activity uh, function and then you can see uh, if, it, if all, all your trades, let's say you enter, are now either filled or they are not working. So what happens is sometimes if you enter a spread like I did here in this case, uh, sometimes uh, you enter, let's say, 320 credit and it keeps on 315. So then sometimes when you see the activity and it's still on working, you may wait five to 10 minutes, but if you see it's not working, okay, then you may be adjust to 315 and then probably right away will get the field. So in other words, here is the control that you look a little bit. I mean, what I want to say is that uh, you will not go and, 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 and wait hours just to get filled for a difference of $5. It's just that you want, once you have an idea and you want to do it, then you just uh, try to do the credit, what is actually here. This is always the site which they ask, what is the current, and then here is the price, more or less you, you, you would wish to have. But uh, once you get filled, I can, the execution are really fast and you will uh, be um, um, advised by uh, email, so it's really a, a fast uh, execution.
Now you have the uh, possibility to see all your activities uh, in Amazon as well. That means you can see that uh, what has been um, failed and then you have an overview of all Amazon uh, transactions you have done so far. So um, this is a very nice feature too that you can see more or less uh, what has been done in a specific stock. The cost per options are really $1, which is just nothing, plus a, a tiny exchange fee. Maybe it's about 10 cents or whatever, you know. And the cost per execution is $5. So in other words, whenever you Amazon uh, get executed, I mean, exercise the put option, okay, then they would charge you another uh, $5. But you can say overall, I mean, for all they are offering you, this price is kind of like a free. Actually, they have some free days uh, which they promote uh, that you can trade on one day for free. So uh, if you want to wait for this particular day, okay, then, uh, then, then you do all your trades on that day, you know. But anyway, $1 is just peanuts, let's say. Okay, so far this is a fast uh, explanation of the test trade account. Now, if you are interested, you will see here now the option strategies. If you like to uh, follow those four parts, uh, I have uh, really uh, done the, the, the structure into a kind of simple uh, strategy up to uh, the last uh, butterfly or jay lizard. So you can see whatever you can uh, choose for it. Uh, for the moment, uh, I think this is really what, what all the strategies can be. And then it will be followed by case studies. This is really interesting because these are really actual prices or actually trades I did uh, usually a day before earnings. So you can get a bit of feeling how to trade uh, in these stocks uh, once uh, actually they uh, issue the earnings. Okay, so this is uh, so far this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again in one of the next videos. Take care. Bye-bye.